Hey, guess who? <laughs> Merry Christmas, Happy New Year from Down Under. Um, little video I thought I'd do this year, let you all see that I'm still alive, I'm fine, I'm surviving. Um, and tell you a bit about what I'm up to. Um, well, where do I start? Um, I should have written down what I was going to say. I stick the camera in front of my face and I start waffling. At least I know what the Queen feels like. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, beginning of the year, I was in Dalaka, um, middle of bloody nowhere. Um, I got sent there by a friend who said it was so much fun, she loved it. Um, and that she had, they were the nicest people she'd ever met. I'd love to know who she had met in her life. Vicky, you're dead when I next see you. <laughs> No, it wasn't that bad. Um, it, they were difficult. They were set in their ways. They were old. They were teetotal. They were difficult. <laughs> um, yeah, it was an experience. Um, I'm glad I went in a way. I, yeah, got a lot of memories. Some of them bad. Some of them good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I survived the outback. Um, dodged a few snakes. Uh, and geckos in my room, that wasn't not that wasn't very pleasant. Um not when they drop off from the ceiling on you anyway. <laughs> then from Dalaka to Brisbane, um I hit the cyclone week of getting absolutely drenched. That wasn't nice either. Uh yeah. But I will say Australia Day I celebrated that in Brisbane and it is my favourite public holiday of the year. Officially. It's amazing. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, so much fun. I had an amazing night out with just some random people I met in a pub. pub. It was an Irish pub actually. Um, <laughs> yeah, from there to Sydney. Um, spent a lovely few days catching up with everyone there. Um, everyone at Oakville. Anna, uh, Manushka. Um, Got severely sunburnt on Manly Beach. Learnt my lesson there, never fall asleep on a beach, especially when wearing sunglasses. Um, yeah, spent about three days wandering around with a um, bright red face, except where my sunglasses were. Uh, deeply embarrassing, I can tell you. Um, Canberra, spent a few days there. Lovely, lovely place. Very, very quiet from the last couple of weeks in cities. Um, very pretty, very, but it's weird. It's a bit like Salem. Everything closes at five and everyone disappears from sight. The streets are empty. And the pubs are very, very hard to find. So, unlike Salem in that respect, um, where the pubs are on the high street uh, <laughs> and every other shop is a pub. Um, yeah. Then I came to Melbourne. Hated it at first because I couldn't find a job. So I spent three weeks wandering around, doing absolutely nothing with myself. Um, getting very frustrated. And then out of the blue I land a job, an interview and a job at Luke Oliver Racing. Thought, you know what, I need a job, I take it, I don't give a damn. Um, don't particularly want to be working with horses again, but hey, it was a racing ad, so it was a bit different. And yeah, I was desperate for money. Found myself a flat, um, well, back room of a little unit um, with a very weird landlord who kept running up bills and expecting me to pay them um, but anyway I survived there um, and Luke's was amazing it was a job I'd always wanted which was pretty weird considering I didn't even want to work with the horses when I came to Melbourne um, yeah I found the best friends I've ever had there, truth be told. Um, they're all absolutely amazing, lovely people, and I can't believe I've ever survived without them in my life, and I can't imagine them not being there. And it's going to be very difficult to leave them, to be honest. Um, I've just realised how many ums there are in this. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, we had, we had some fun. We 
We had far too much fun for a job, actually. Most fun I've ever had in a job before. Just messing about constantly. Um, yeah. Any excuse for a laugh. Uh, I remember riding a broom around the yard once. God knows why. I can't remember exactly why. I think I was hyper on sugar. <laughs> we got... There was, we have a cubby hole in the tack room where, where we'd always put snacks and stuff and we'd just walk past, grab a handful and carry on working. So we were constantly snacking and that. It, mm, it was a really bad influence on me. I can't eat chips anymore. Purely because of the amount of times I ate them in the first couple of months I knew them. Thanks a lot, Shani. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um... I sort of had two lives at this point. One was a backpacker's life, um, and one was a settled worker. Um, once or twice a week I'd meet up with a load of backpacker friends in the city, and um, they were mostly Germans. I'd met um, two of them, Dorothy and Steph, on, on the Great Ocean Road tour, which I did the week and before I started at Luke's. Uh, yeah just happened to be on the same bus and got chatting and we ended up having a lot of fun. The weekend was amazing. Um, if you ever get a chance to do the Great Ocean Road, I highly recommend it. It's absolutely beautiful. And I got, well, it was autumn and I swam in the sea. Bit of a mistake, it was freezing. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, watched the sunset over the Twelve Apostles, watched the little penguins coming in uh, for the night. And the next day, I did a helicopter flight over it. Um, yeah, it was amazing. Never been in a helicopter before, and I really enjoyed it. Um, went out for a few drinks in the, the local pub, and I think we scared the locals. <laughs> um, well, that was mainly Steph's fault. She was trying to get me drunk. <laughs> but yeah, um, I kept in contact with them, and we met up on a few occasions to do things like um, karaoke and went to see a movie. Um, the odd night out, a uh, meal, some things like that really. That was my backpacker life for a bit. Uh, yeah. And they also made me realise I was a nerd. Before I met them, I would never have considered going to a comic book convention, ever. And suddenly they invite me to something called Supernova. So I turn up there, it's a comic book convention, and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Okay, I'm at one of these. Never thought I would. Then I realised Alex Kingston was there. <laughs> and I just went into orbit. Like, excitement levels through the roof. Um, for those of you that don't know who she is, she played River Song in Doctor Who, among other things. Um, I'm a huge Doctor Who fan. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I queued for hours for her autograph and got to the front. I had a load of things to say, mine went my mind just went blank. Uh, I was starstruck, <laughs> in absolute awe of this woman. Um, but yeah, that was fun, and I am a nerd. I'm officially a nerd. <laughs> and I wouldn't have realised that if I hadn't gone with um, Steph and Dorothy to the comic book convention. So thanks a lot girls. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're both okay and um, at university and all that. Um, yeah. Anyway, back to racing. Uh, I go to the races a lot, uh, whenever I can really. I've been to all of the major city ones like Mooney Valley, Flemington, um, Caulfield obviously I work there. Um, yeah, it's, um, it's fantastic. Uh, Racing really is everything I want from life. I, I love the whole industry. It's a bit dodgy, but <laughs> which industry isn't? Uh, yeah. The Spring Carnival this year was amazing. I'd, I'd known about it for years because it's huge. Um, and last year there was all this hype about it. I, I still can't believe the hot the country shuts down on Melbourne Cup Day for one race. You know, it's insane. Um, yeah, shops close, people put on celebrations, nobody works, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, had a lot of fun going to the big race meetings, um, 
what did I do? I went to the Guineas. That was just after I came back from Hobart. Hobart, by the way, fantastic. So beautiful, so pretty. Really want to go back. I had an amazing time there. And fitted in as much as I could. Um, yeah, poor Arthur, he's just jaw-dropping. Um, wouldn't recommend the ghost tour, that's scaring me to death. Um, yeah, something weird happened in one of those cellars. No, it's hard to describe, but yeah. Um, yeah, Hobart, fantastic, really enjoyable week, loved it. Uh, yeah, I went to the Guineas there. Anyway, back to Spring Carnival. I went to the Guineas, um, then it, I missed the Caulfield Cup. I watched the race, the actual cup race, um, but I had to work that afternoon, so I couldn't go. Then it was a Cox Plate, Derby Day, Melbourne Cup Day. And, that was, and then I was working for the rest of them, like the Oaks and the Stakes Days. But yeah, I got to see most of them, had to empty my bank account on, on a couple of dresses, but <laughs> at least I looked good. I think I did anyway. Uh, um, around this time I started work at Moody's. Uh, absolutely fantastic. I couldn't believe it when they offered me a job, to be quite honest. Uh, I I had wondered what it would be like working there when I was at Luke's. Like, see all these Moody staff come and going everywhere. Like, they were everywhere. They came out every doorway possible. They were just all over the place, always getting in your way. <laughs> and we always complained about them. Um, but And I did wonder what it was like to work for them, and now I know. It's, and it's so different, it's organised, it, people know what they're doing and they do it. Um, yeah, there's a few issues, but what place is perfect, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm r really enjoying my time there um, and I'm learning so much. The horses are amazing, so well behaved, which you would not expect for such a young volatile animals that racehorses are, you know. Um, I, um, yeah, I strap a fair bit. Uh, my one, I've only got one signed horse called Adele. Um, Zephyretta is her race name. Um, she's vile. <laughs> she's extremely headstrong and I call her my ginger nutter. Uh, <laughs> but she's a chestnut mare. Um, but I love, I love her. She's got such a great personality. Um, even if she did drench me going into the pool the other day and destroy my phone. <laughs> so I've had to buy a new one. My fourth one this year. Thanks, horse. Um, anyway. Yeah. I'm, I've strapped three times at Moody's. Um, Miss Promiscuity out in Dunkeld. That was interesting. It honestly looked like everything had been put up that very morning. It wasn't an actual racetrack. It didn't look real. It looked temporary. Um, they hadn't even got a pee box, which is where you take the horses to pee so they can empty themselves before the race. Um, yeah, then she won. That was amazing with her strap with an unraced horse. Brilliant feeling. Um, then there was um, Giggle, Prince Jester, out at sale. Um, he came fifth, ruined my winning streak. I had been on three, three straps, three wins, uh, because of the two I strapped at Luke's. But anyway, <laughs> he came home safe. That was the main thing. And. I had fun out there anyway. I love strapping. I don't care where the horse comes as long as it comes back okay. Um, now, my third one was Adele. That was interesting. Um, she beat me up something chronic. Well, she beat everyone up to be fair. Um, she trod on Zach's foot when he was saddling her. Um, struck me in the shin. Um, and yeah, tried to beat everyone up. She was just so headstrong, you had to keep her walking, and I didn't stop for the whole three and a half hours we were there. Um, 
she must have stood in the tie-ups for a